Hey guys, welcome back to Sabia and Mori. Before we get into the video, um, we are going to stop really quick for a, um ad. Uh, this video is actually sponsored by Audible, so we'll roll to that and then get back to you guys. Hey guys, so this is actually the sponsored video and uh, it's sponsored by audible.com. And Audible contains the largest selection of audiobooks that you can listen to, anywhere from bestsellers to new releases to even celebrity biographies, travel books, everything like that. You're able to get one credit each month, purchase whatever like, you want with that one credit. It is in your library forever. With memberships as well, you can download and listen offline to any audiobooks that you have in your library anytime, anywhere. So if you're going on a plane and you might not have service for whatever reason, you can listen to them as you're traveling. The app itself is free and can be installed on any smartphones or tablets. And, and you can sign in on whatever device you're using, whether it be your iPad, smartphone, or your wife's phone. The series I highly recommend checking out is the Outlander series. I started reading it a couple years ago and just recently got back into it um, through Audible. It's nice to listen to the series while I'm doing homework. Um, so check that out if you're into like action adventure history type stuff. You also obtain full access to the popular plus catalog. It's filled with thousands and thousands of audio books which will pretty much give you access to whichever book you're looking for. As well as sleep tracks, podcasts, and it also includes ad-free versions of your favorite shows as well as exclusive series. You just visit audible.com slash Morn or text sabiatmorn at 500-500. You will get a free 30-day trial. The link is down in the description and so with that let's get to the video so we don't really have any massive updates for you guys but i am i bought a sword lauren uh, did buy a sword <laughs> um lauren's pain has been good enough that we've been able to get him up and go out um the new bucky is phenomenal oh, yeah. we went to the zoo for what like two three hours mm. and it was lauren's first zoo which was really fun. Um, we went right. to the zoo in Seattle. Um, and then we went to the Ren 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 Renaissance Fair. Fair. Yeah. Renaissance Fair. We went to the Renaissance that's, Fair that's, last that's, week. That's, that's where I bought the sword. Yeah, the it was really Fair. fun. Um, yeah. yeah, but uh, I feel like Lor the lidocaine infusion has been helping enough, you know, to where Lauren's been more active throughout the day. We've been able to tone down on a bunch of meds and his i mean his pain is still there it's definitely still present mm -hmm. but it's not immobilizing you anymore right so that's really cool mm -hmm. um that's pretty much it we're about to go to a doctor's appointment right now to talk to the doctor about kind of how lauren's been feeling after the lidocaine infusion and if we want to move forward with the nerve blocker still so this appointment is just kind of to talk about spinal cord stimulator options um and kind of go more in depth with them to see if, you know, if along the ways we do end up doing one of those. Um, that way we're as educated as we can be on them. Um, Lauren's going to be hopefully getting scheduled here soon for a second lidocaine infusion. Yeah. Um, and ho hopefully that helps with the pain. Yeah. I mean, it should. The first one helped with the pain, so I'll see why the second one. But uh, hopefully that helps enough that I don't need a nerve blocker. Um, but yeah, we've been we've been in Seattle for about two months now, so yeah, we're ready to go home. Definitely ready to go home. But we're hoping that the lidocaine infusions work well enough um, after we've done a couple more to where we won't need that spinal cord stimulator and we can just go home. Um, but of course, we won't know until we do a couple more rounds and talk to the doctors a little bit more. But fingers crossed that the simple solution ends up working. Yeah. But yeah, mainly we've just been a lot more, or there's just a lot more stuff to do in mm -hmm. Seattle, so we've been doing a lot more stuff. Yeah, um, we're hopefully going to, oh no, we were going to go to a movie. Um, yesterday or the day before? Oh, the other day, but it was a 21 and older. Yeah, theater. it was a 21 plus theater, so they wouldn't let Lauren in. So, and that's the only movie theater we're really close to, and we didn't really feel like getting in the car and finding another one. But 
And the Renaissance Fair was really cool, too. We weren't there as long as we wanted to be. We thought it ended at like 9, but it ended at 7. So we were only there for about an hour. But yeah. born bought a sword. Some of the people there, you know, like, were obviously dressed to the tens for the occasion. And it was really cool to, like, be in that, like, vibe and see, you know. I don't know. I had a lot of fun at the Renaissance Fair. Oh no! 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 So this right here, um, our good, our good master smith Ethan Kemp, the beautiful man with the fe with the feathers in his hair. I was such a massive fight. They are my never wrong me the king of Spain. <laughs> the fair was very awesome. I mean, we got out for like an hour and a half. And before it closed. Now we're just getting drugs to Cool. I got to see great items. Yeah. Um, you saw a lot of really cool things. They have like um like an African like safari section and like a tundra section. Um we they, didn't get to see the spotted leopard. I was really They had a lion. Snow leopard. They had lions. Leopard. They had lions. Um and monkeys. Mm -hmm. They had zebras. They had a gorilla. Because the gorilla, she she had just recently had a baby. She had a little baby like this big with her, and she had her back to the window, and she was just trying to exist with her baby. And there were so many people in there taking photos and like going through like at the window. And zoos make me sad, but they also make me happy. It's a very it's a very back and forth uh, confliction for me. I really like being able to see the animals, but it also like like. Mo all of their enclosures were really nice like most of them had lots of room and you know it was clean and they seemed you know relatively peaceful but you know I, I it was cool but I still struggle when I see them being all sad so <laughs> that's pretty much what we've been up to um we do have to skedaddle to a doctor's appointment yeah. um so we'll keep you guys updated be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out our merch if you haven't already. No pressure. Uh, but yeah, so we'll see you guys next week. Oh, sorry, this video is a day late. We had some stuff come up this morning, and we couldn't get to filming and editing when we wanted to. Um, so sorry we're a day late on posting this. <laughs> Alright guys, see you next time.